getting way lower though. It's getting more power. This is a big difference right here, bro. From the one ohm and look at that thing, bro. Oh, yeah. One ohm versus four ohm. Which one is more better? When it comes to selecting your ohm load, it all depends on what your amplifier can handle. So I want to know which ohm load y'all prefer to wire your subwoofers at, and I will be letting y'all know what ohm load I prefer to wire my subwoofers at at the ending of this video. So let's jump right into the video. Blah. So when it comes to four ohms, what four ohms will tend to do is that it will be pulling less power coming from your amplifier, which will also cause less heat coming from your amplifier. Now, when it comes to one ohm now, what one ohm will tend to do is that it will be pulling more power coming from your amplifier, which will cause more heat. So for example, let's say that we have a one ohm stable 3000 RMS amplifier and I wire my subwoofers down to one ohm. What will happen is that I will be getting the most power from out of my amplifier, which will also cause more heat on the amplifier. And now if I had my subwoofers where at four ohms now on the same amplifier, I will be getting less power output coming from the amplifier so my subwoofers will be sounding less louder and will be getting less power while my subwoofers are wired at four ohms versus from the one ohm and a next important thing we don't want to wire our subwoofers lower than what our amplifier can handle so for example this is a one ohm stable amplifier and uh, let's say that i wired my subwoofers down to 0.5 ohms that's lower than one ohm what will happen is that my amplifier will be going into protect mode and you will just be straining the amplifier. So I would recommend for y'all to check out your specs on your amplifier before wiring your subwoofers. This is a big issue in cardio and many people amplifier be going into protect mode just because of that mistake. So moral of the story, if you guys know that you want to wire your subwoofers down to one ohm and your electricals are not supported for that one ohm output, please to avoid that one ohm because what will happen is that your headlights will tend to them and your electricals will be failing your alternator will be giving problems your battery will be dying fast it's going to be safer to wire your subwoofers at a higher impedance at four ohms to get less power coming from your amplifier so that you don't strain your electricals and that is for my case right here i currently have my subwoofers wired at four ohms that's because i'm still on stock alternator and i don't want any issues with my electricals i don't want my headlights to be dimming i don't want my alternator to, to be failing on me especially for a stock alternator and i don't want my battery to be dying really fast so i'm on the safer side until i actually work on my electricals so that i can actually wire my subwoofers down to one ohm for the most output so here i currently have my subwoofers wired at four ohms these are two dual four ohm subwoofers and i will be popping up a wiring diagram of how you guys can wire two dual four ohm subwoofers to a final impedance of four ohms we'll be doing a sound test from the four ohm versus the one ohm wiring to actually see the differences we'll be looking at our voltage drop and the performance from the subwoofers so let's go so for each test we're going to be playing the same song so let's start with the four ohm wiring first Let's go. So here we go. Looking really low, bro. <laughs> the sun's 
let's go bro so that was with my subwoofers being wired at four ohms it was really really nice for what it is i'll say guys this is the safer side for me with having my two dual four ohm subwoofers being wired at four ohms my headlights won't be dimming my battery won't be dying my electricals will be safe my everything will be more safer with my subwoofers being wired at four ohms with using a stock alternator so let's move on to the one ohm wiring and let's see the differences from the voltage drop and the loudness from the subwoofers so let's go so here we go guys we're on to the one ohm wiring now let's see the difference here we go That's what I'm talking about. So let's go guys. That was with the one on wiring. And I would have to say that's a big difference right there. Yeah, I didn't check to see if my headlights were dimming though. But what I can say, the voltage was dropping really low. What I explained in the video, if you guys want to wire your subwoofers at one ohm, make sure that your electricals are proper. Because that would be the fastest way to kill your battery and to cause headlights dimming and all of that stuff. With the one ohm wiring, it should be three times more power than the four ohm wiring so if you guys want the most out of your subwoofers if you guys want the most power from out of your amplifiers and your subwoofers just wire your subwoofers at one ohm but as i say just make sure that your electricals are supported for that so that was a really nice test right there bro i don't know if i should leave my subwoofers wired at four ohms right now <laughs> i'm gonna change it back to four ohms um to be on the safer side until i upgrade my alternator and have enough amp hour battery for that one ohm. Hopefully, guys, find this video very helpful. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. Road to 7,000 subscribers, guys. If you guys have any more video ideas for me, if you guys want me to do anything, such as if you guys want me to make a video on how you guys can wire your subwoofers, you guys can also suggest that in the comments below. Any video idea would be very helpful. Just drop them in the comments. Love y'all, guys, and I will be catching y'all in my next video. Love y'all guys. Peace.